Hi guys, I hope y'all are doing well. Thanks again for stopping by for those who are returning and welcome for those who are new. So today I actually went to Target. Yes, my favorite place. Um, <laughs> and then I got me some Starbucks. So it's a, a treat whenever I go to Starbucks. Um, and I don't do it often. Okay, so I wanted to show that what I got. This is a toiletry bag. But I'm going to use it for like my planning supplies, like on the go, or if I want to carry it in the house, like from upstairs to downstairs. I've seen like what's in my planner bag videos and I think they're so cool. So I'm going to attempt this. I don't know if it's big enough. I wanted to try to see if my A5 traveler's notebooks will fit in here. So we'll see. So earlier I was working on the a5 traveler's notebooks for homeschooling so i'm going to try to put that in there see if it fits <gasps> yes it fits y'all yay but more than likely it's not going to be my a5 size that i'm going to be putting in here but just for giggles i'm going to try it with the a5 it's probably going to be my personal or my pocket my everyday carry that i'll be putting in here and planning with and decorating but let's just see if it's also good for the a5 size and this is just a Swiss hanging dot kit. I also wanted to get this just in case I do need an extra one because my son took our dot kit and he doesn't like to share. So I was getting one for us, my husband and I. But primarily, if it's not being used, I'm just going to use it for a planner bag. I noticed that some of the planner community, they use a travel bag or a cosmetic bag for their planning supplies. All right. So I'll probably put markers and stuff in here. This has a really big pocket on the inside. So I'll probably put like sticker sheets and stuff in there. What else? It's got another pocket in here. Okay, so it's got a slip pocket in here. I mean a zip pocket in here. My whole hand can fit in there. A slip pocket underneath that. My whole hand can fit in there. Oh, it's got a warranty card. Okay. And then... And then it's got an elastic thing that you can put something in there. It's got an elastic band as well to put something in there. And then another elastic band. And then on this side, it's got a little pocket here. And then on this side, has another slip pocket in here. Let me get some of my markers. All right, so I'm gonna put, like these I use as highlighters, and then a couple of pens, my gel pen, my micron pens, a couple of them, then my little folding thing. I don't know what to call this. It helps me fold things without having to put too much pressure on my wrist. And then my pencil, and then my eraser. I'm gonna put these in here. So I have some sticker sheets that I'll put in there, and this is long enough, I believe, to fit it in there. Yep, perfect. It's the perfect size. Okay. And you could, well, let me see. Could you put? You actually could. You could put one big booklet in there. Yeah, you could. Let's try closing it after. Then my little tweezers. I'll put that. That. Then scissors and the other zipper thing in here. And a little tape thing. I'll probably put in the side pocket right here. Yeah, that fits perfectly. And my glue stick. I'll fit in that side too. Then my corner punch thing. <laughs> it might be too big. I'm gonna put it on the side. Oh yeah, it still fits. So I put my corner. Okay, yeah, so I put my little I love having an extra battery. My battery just died and I put the extra one in. Woohoo! Okay, so I put the corner page 
trimmer in here. And the A5 notebook still fits. Okay, like I'll have a washi card thingy in here. Where can I put that? In the little slip pocket in here. But if I had to, I could probably put one of these rolls of washi tape in here. Yep. Okay, let's see if it closes up. Alright, success. Yay. Okay, so that's what's in my planner bag, y'all. Ooh, I like it a lot. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where people were using toiletry bags or other types of travel bags as their planner bag to carry around the house or if they're on the go. This is perfect. Because I keep this inside. I was using this, you know, like when I'm planning in the room. Um, sometimes I have used it going downstairs and stuff, but I mean, if this like falls over, I mean, there's not anything that's closed or what have you. So this is perfect. I can just like throw it in the car or I can, you know, just carry it around downstairs, upstairs, whatever room I'm in. Yay. Oh, and I could potentially, let me see, put another... Because I keep scraps of paper in this envelope. I try not to waste my scrap papers. I could also put that in here. There's still room. I still have room like right up here. Yeah, because I could lay it down. But yeah, there's still pl plenty of room. Okay, so let me... Yeah, I'll show you. Let me close this first and then I'll show you. After I close this, I'll show you like with the EDC planners that I usually decorate and stuff. So, okay, so that's that. Okay, and then I'll take this out. And if y'all, I don't know if um, you saw this in one of my videos, but I just have these little rings that I got from Hobby Lobby and I use them for like purse charms, things like that, whatever. And I just use a ribbon and put washi tape through it. So if I ever need a couple, I can just undo the knot and take some of these out. Um, I figured, you know, instead of buying that huge ring thing for washi tape that people sell, I mean, I already have these things, so... Might as well use what you got and just save money. And I like it can just lay flat and yeah, it's flexible. I don't have to worry about it being too bulky or big whenever I pack it up. So I like that. Okay. So let me take this A5 planner out. Okay, let me take this off. Okay, so this is my everyday Harry, my Mr. Darcy. Yeah, he got scratched up a lot, y'all, because I just threw it in my purse. And this one, I really gashed it up. I don't know. I think it was my nail or something like that. And I just, something, I can't remember. But yeah, I just love, oh, I just love how he looks. He is very much loved. Okay, so let's see. Let me put him in here. Okay, yeah, so he fits, and I can put like other things in here. I mean, I could even potentially, let me see, if I really wanted to, I could put like my fabric glue on the side there. Yeah, my fabric glue fits in there. I could put my ribbons in there. I can even put my washi tape and lay it right down here. That in there. My scrap paper. Decorative paper. In there. I'm going to close it up. Perfect. 
perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna love this little bag, this planner bag that I have. That is great. You know, I didn't think about it, but it doesn't have a, oh, wait a second. Well, actually, you could if you wanted to. There's like little notches right here. If you wanted to, you can put like a little, like a little ring in here and then put um, a handle and then carry it that way. Yeah, you could actually. That's pretty cool. Okay, because I have a lot of camera bag and portable like devices. I have like a lot of straps for these kind of bags. So yeah, I could. Okay, so, oh, and let me, let's see. Let me get my other. Uh, let me see if I can get some other, what other stuff can I get in here? Okay, so here's my other everyday carry, my EDC. This is the pocket. Oh, I'm sorry, I uh, forgot to mention this is a personal size. This is my other everyday carry, the pocket size, Mr. Darcy. And these planners are from Shakespeare. So I can potentially bring like my stamps. A thing of stamps in here. If I wanted to bring like a stamp pad, I could put that in here. No problem. I mean, I probably won't be carrying like a bunch of these in here, but as you can see, it still fits really nicely in there. I'm gonna have my scrap paper. that. Okay, now for my other. Okay, so here's my Pocket Plus. It also is kind of like the size of an A6 tan. So let's just say I have my label maker. Put that in there. So I just kind of put that in there like that. I stick like it's kind of slanted, but anyway, that's in there. Some scrap paper. Okay, and I could potentially, once again, my roll of washi tape in here. But like I said, I probably wouldn't keep all of that in there. But. Okay, success. Cool beans. I really like this a lot. All right, so there you have it, y'all. You saw all the different sizes of my planners and they fit great with all the other stuff I can bring with me. So many different ways to pack this bag. Even if I wanted to put my, let's see, I put it this way. And that's my personal size, my label maker here. Cool. There you go. Okay, y'all. So, there you go. This uh, was 20 bucks at Target. So, if y'all like to plan and you want to carry your stuff around, this is a good option. Because I know some planner bags from 
companies that actually make planner bags. Some of them can get really expensive. So I like to purchase things that I can use multiple ways. So if I'm not using this for my planner, I can also use it for a toiletry bag. Okay, y'all. So I wanted to add this clip to the video because I've used this bag a couple of days already and I just want to show you what exactly is in my planner bag after really using it the way I intended it for its use. Okay. Okay, so let me first show you. I did add little rings to the bag on the tabs. I put a shoulder strap from one of the other carrying cases that I have for like a camera case or portable devices. So I love it. I normally carry it like this, but I will put it over my shoulder as a crossbody. So I like that. It's awesome. So this is how it looks after I put the crossbody strap on it. So it's very easy, lightweight, and it falls right where I need it, right below the hip. So I just absolutely love it. But for the most part, I just carry it like this go downstairs but I do like being able to just throw it over my shoulder like that as a crossbody okay all right so I have some Tim Holtz ephemera I have a refillable baby wipes and I use that to clean off my stamps so that they don't get stained after each use then y'all have seen this. It's the creme brulee in the pocket plus size, and I just have my A6 in here. Let me go ahead and show you what I have done while using this planner bag. So with the stuff that I'm showing you today, I made this spread right here. Just a heart doily and some scraps. And all of these scraps were in the little envelope. I didn't add anything else to it. It was just the scraps that I've already used in the past. I used some stamping, some stickers, leftover acetate that I made. I just stamped inside the laminate paper and ran it through my laminator. And then just scraps of paper. That's some of that Tim Holtz ephemera that I used. And then the last one I made is just stickers and I used my metallic markers. I made a little pocket. And I journaled stamping right there. I did three of those spreads just by with the stuff that I have in here and I'll show you. And then I have my washi tape. I didn't really use any of my washi tape on these little elastic tab thingies. I just had my white out. And I put my corner page cutter in the corner right here. My glue stick and my double-sided tape is on this side and by the way I misspoke earlier this is actually it's not a slip pocket I mean it's separated in the bottom see it's it's more like a divider but it keeps everything snugly in here so I like that it's fine the way it is so in this slip pocket right here I have my stamp block and then I have two stamp pads, green and pink, very spring-like. Then I have some clear stamps, and these are called Hip Stamp Hooray. It's called American Crafts, and they're based in Utah, so they're local. I just love their stamps. Then this one, I believe I got in a pack of, like, some sort of Tim Holtz stuff. Alcohol ink kit. Oh, and then I have double-sided tape, and this is from the papery shop. And these strips, it's like you just peel the backing off of it, and sometimes it's easy to tip in things in, as opposed to using this. And then now the slip pocket is empty, or the divider slip pocket. And then in this little zip pocket, pens that I like to use, the micron pens, mechanical pencil, my eraser, bone folder, that's what that's called white gel pen, calligraphy pen. I have a few sheets of stickers and they're usually from Recollections or the Happy Planner and they're just sheets of stickers. I was going for a pink, gray, blue, spring-like theme so that's that. 
Oh, and another one. And then I have some paper doilies, circles. I have some hearts, small hearts, and then a circular one. I have, in this is a zip pocket, I have scissors, regular tape. And this is like if I have to tip in bigger things in my traveler's notebook. So I carry like three different types of tape. <laughs> and then I have an X-Acto knife by Fiskars. And then these are a lifesaver. These sticker tweezers that I got from Michaels. Oh, I love them. Okay. So now it is empty. I absolutely love this bag. I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to pack light on the go, if you're just gonna be using it around the house, or if you wanna take it on a short road trip. I could see myself using it. Um, riding around with my family. I love how it has a lot of pockets. There's some planner bags that are specifically planner bags, like small pouches like this that doesn't have as many pockets, so I just absolutely love this. That's all that I had in my planner bags. I love being able to just grab it and take it downstairs, not have to run back up and down the stairs, getting my supplies because I forgot something. So I have it all there and it's easy to use. Everything's not scattered, so. I mean, it's scattered now, but. <laughs> But when I use it, I pretty much just pull as I need things and then put it back as soon as I finish using it. So I love it. Okay, so thanks again uh, for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope you enjoyed <laughs> me packing my planner bag. And comment uh, down below if you also have a planner bag that you take around the house or if you you know, plan on the go, let me know. Thanks um, to all the new subs that subbed recently, the ones that have been with me for quite some time. I really appreciate y'all so, so much. Y'all are so wonderful. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.